Hey there, everybody. It's P.T. Pop here with all four lobes of my brain securely bound behind my back. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. If you like my videos, give me the thumbs up. Today, I've got a doozy. I've got a great one. This is one that was, that was suggested to me and recommended by one of my subscribers by the name of Big Dog 333 This is a video where the president and CEO of a company goes into the call center to take calls. Uh, 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 uh. His name is Chuck Harris. He's the former CEO and president of a company called NetSpend, headquartered in Austin, Texas. And uh, before I get to that, though, let me let me do this. Let me tell you about my podcast. I have a podcast that kind of mirrors this channel, and my podcast is called PT Pop: A Mind Revolution, and. This is a podcast where I'm kind of a social justice warrior. I really talk about the evils of corporate America and some of the PSYOP stuff that is brought upon us as a public and Western civilization to convince us to act a certain way or buy certain things, things like that. And this is called PT Pop a Mind Revolution. You can find it on Apple Podcast. You can find it on Spotify and five or six other places all over the place. But I really love it. It's a great channel. I've had a lot of fun making it. I think you'll enjoy it. It's just basically what I say and do here on YouTube, but um, with no video. But I'm starting to do both. I'm starting to make the podcast along with the video so you can see it in both places. So take a look at that when you get a chance and subscribe to it. You know, a splendid time is guaranteed for all. So this this today, I'm I'm discussing a company called NetSpend. And this video is from 2014. And it's an old video, but it's, it's very campy. Now, I can't play the audio at the beginning of this because I've been getting copyright strikes because the music on some of these videos is copyrighted. It's, you know, giving me a big pain in the, the tush because um, YouTube is giving me strikes and stuff. So I'm going to mute this first part, but to give you a background who who NetSpend is and what they do, NetSpend is basically a prepaid spending, a prepaid debit card. And they serve low-income people who can't get, you know, open a bank account. Um, they either have a bad bad record in check systems, they've bounced checks or had too many overdrafts, and the bank's the banks won't work with them to open up a bank account or they're felons. You can get your paycheck deposited to these prepaid debit cards. And you can get, like if you're on welfare, um, you can get your welfare check, welfare check deposited to the card. And there's no credit check required. And you'll pay a $2 fee for every transaction from the card or you pay a $9.95 per month fee to have the service. So if you're getting a paycheck in there, uh, about $10 of it will go out of your paycheck every every month to pay for the service, but you'll at least have access to your funds. Um, so that being said, you can only imagine the kind of clientele that are calling into this call center and the kind of grief they give the, the, the people, the call center reps, um, because it's 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 a <laughs> where you're going to be dealing with some really rough characters is what I'm saying. You'll be dealing with some rough characters. Chuck Harris is no longer the CEO of of this company, but Chuck Harris, the former president and CEO of Net uh, NetSpend Holdings Incorporated, um, he was president and associated with this company from July of 2010 until December 17. So he started off as president. He became senior executive VP, press Nets, president of NetSpend, uh, the total systems division. In 13, became, he was senior executive vice president of telecommunication systems, which I think is a different company. I don't know what that is. Then he went back to NetSpend as president and CEO from 2014 
and then he was there until the 2017. So he's no longer there. So this gentleman you're going to see in here is a gentleman uh, named Chuck Harris. And this first part, you have to believe me, there's this real bouncy, fun music. Dun, dun, dun. It goes like that. Dun, 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 dun. And it's real happy, upbeat, and a major key like all the other hokey videos. Um, but this is NetSpend 2014 Customer Service Appreciation Week, Austin, Texas Call Center. And this is, this is Mr. Chuck Harris arriving at the call center. And I wish you could hear the music because it's... Chuck Harris visits the call center to take live customer calls. This is pretty amateurish type of production. Here's Chuck. He's coming in. There he's badging in. There he is. Got his coffee. Oh, oh it must be it must be hippie day in the call center. Or tie-dye shirt day. <laughs> I couldn't stand this in call centers. They had these these special days. They had, they had like Hawaiian shirt day, and they had. Uh, oh, and remember, next Friday is Hawaiian shirt day. So you know, if you want to go ahead and uh, wear a Hawaiian shirt and jeans. So so it's Hawaiian shirt day here. It's hippie day. This must be hippie day. They thought it'd be fun. The executives all got together and go, hey. Why don't we have a fun day to take all the dignity away from all the employees and make it fun and make them wear look like hippies? Yay! I wonder if they're all unbathed and smell bad like the hippies did in the 60s. Smell of patchouli. Look at this guy. This uh So he walks in. He's got the camera crew. Hey! He got an old pat in there. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Keep up the good work there, Charlie. I'm out of here in a couple minutes to get on my yacht. <laughs> yeah, you can tell this is a bad production, poor production, because as he opens it, the the light, the bright light from the boardroom changes the white balance of the camera, and it kind of has that weird change. It's obviously, this is a homemade production. Yeah, see that? The, the white balance changes. They have the auto photo focus on auto. Oh, this is the training room. This is, I want to talk about this. This is, as I've said to people here, and those of you who may not, who may not have ever worked in a call center, training is always in a windowless room. Oh my God, it's so depressing. And there's always, there's always one of these weird clocks, these old analog clocks in the wall. And you walk in, it's just white, stark white usually, or dark gray, no windows, no ventilation. He comes in, he's like, hey everybody, hey everybody, it's Chuck Harris. He's the president, CEO. He's coming in to, to tickle your nipples. Oh, he looked at the camera. Look at Chuck. Look at him with his glasses. His nicely pressed little plaid shirt. Oh, they got a, co a Coke can out. Infraction, major infraction. No drinks allowed in the call center. And so basically they just go through this whole thing. It was showing what a good guy he's being, being comical and... There's the trainer and this is a typical training room. I'm going to skip ahead because this is all just kind of propaganda. Uh, oh, so he comes in to take his first call. Thank you for calling Skylight. How can I help you this morning? See, of course, they've got to get the pretty young girl with the headband in, looking pretty and the dark eyes. And she's, she's, but you wouldn't get this girl in there. And though I actually, I kind of prefer her over her, um, but that's a whole different thing. Um, but, you know, this. Uh, take a look at some of the people in the background. These are big people. And I've told you, most of the people you run into in the call center are heavy set. She's rare. You rarely find these teeny tiny, really good looking girls at the call center. But they got the, the cute girl on the camera. They said, hey, who, who's the best looking girl? Let's get her on the camera to sit with Chuck. Um, I was calling to see if there was any transactions being made on this account. Well, let me check. I have, uh, there's two of us on the call this morning to help you. Um, he, why does he have to tell them that? I've got a great Chuck on this call. Chuck, you're already failing. There's no need for the caller. Chuck, there's no need for the caller to know there's another rep listening to the call. And let's see, who am I speaking with here? <sighs> see, 
this is what gets me about these guys, these, these CEOs. They don't know the systems. I, I'd never been a CEO, obviously, but these guys are so high up on the pillar, uh, on the, on the uh, org chart. They're so detached from the, the, the peons at the bottom. They have absolutely no idea what they do. They don't know what the products are. They don't know what the systems are. They're clueless. They're blind. And this guy proves it right here. Oh, what, what, who am I speaking to? Yeah. And this guy does not have a fancy degree from Harvard. Um, he's got a bachelor's degree from like this, I don't know, University of Wisconsin or something. For, I might be wrong on that, but I, I looked up his record. He doesn't have a fancy degree. He's got a bachelor's just like me. How are you this morning? My name's Chuck. I'm the president of the company. I'm on the phone. Chuck, Chuck, I gotta, I, you're telling, but you gotta tell them you're the president. They're gonna totally change how they perceive the call. And number one, they're not gonna believe you. I mean, <laughs> if somebody, I called in the guy who goes, hi, Mr. Tompkins, I'm the president of Schmuckety Schmuck. No, no, you, no, no, you're not. Show me some identification, buddy. Today, talking to customers, and we have Adriana here that's going to try to help you as well. But we'll see if we can sort this out. So you want to look at some of your transactions? Yes, to see if there was any transactions being made on this account. Uh, what do you think, Adriana? Any transactions on the account? Thank you for calling Skylight. As of right now, I don't show any transactions, any recent transactions. I show that this account is closed. Um, there is a past due balance of negative $75.62. This woman is overdrawn on a prepaid debit card. So she must have uh, had all kinds of fees that came in. See, these are pe people that are, are um, have been, um, um, they've been isolated, ostracized by the regular bank systems. Like, if you go to a key bank or any of the Wells Fargo's, they won't let people like this bank there because they've overdrawn their accounts so many times and they don't pay their fees or so they shut down their accounts and then, then they, they bar them. They dis disbar them or they ban them from working at regular banks. So they're, they're forced to put their money and their paychecks onto a prepaid debit card. And that's, this is probably what this lady has done. She's overdrawn her account so much. Okay. Look at it. Adriana trying not to laugh. She's like, <laughs> Hand check, Chuck. Hand check. <laughs> okay, well, thank you. Thank you. There are no transactions trying to be that was pending posted to this account? No, there's not. Okay, thank you. Thank you for calling Skylight. Uh, oh, Chuck. Is there anything else I can help you out with today? No, Chuck. The way you're supposed to end that call is, thank you, ma'am. I'm going to help you out. Do you have any other questions today? Did I answer all of your questions? Thank you for calling. What did he say? Did he say he says Skylark or something, didn't he? Okay, thank you. Thank you for calling Skylight. Skylight? This is producer NetSpend. Skylight must be a... a a branch. What is net spend? You said the name wrong name of the company, Chuck. Do you even know who you're president of or what you're president of? Skylight. I don't know. That must be some division of net spend or it's a outsourced call center or something. I wonder if on hippie day they all get to smoke pot and drop acid. That would be oh man. I can see all the I can see all the molecules of the air, man, dude. Uh then a tougher one. Tougher call for Chuck. Can I get your name, please? Excuse me, I didn't hear you. Good morning. My name's Chuck Harris. I'm the president of the company. I'm here with Adriana. We're going to try to help you this morning. How can we help you? Um, well, if you're the president, I suggest you to get some new workers because every time I call here, they always have an attitude and give me a smart mouth. <laughs> they always give me a smart mouth. I believe it. I, I, you can't even imagine the type of people that call into banks, just regular banks where I've worked. Woo! Some of these people, they go, I've got a question about my bank bill. 
And they're talking about their bank statement, but they think it's a bill because there's so many overdraft fees that are deducted from their balance. They have no idea anything about finance, it, even the basic, basic stuff. But my thing is, the last time I was there... Look, look at Adriana's face. She's like, uh... I actually got in trouble with one of you customer service representatives the very last time I called, and they were very rude to me. And not only that, they were supposed to issue out me another card with my name on it, which is my new card, because my last one was stolen. They still haven't done it, and it's been over three weeks now, which I'm not understanding why hasn't my new card got there yet. Okay. Well, I think Chuck has nice hair. I mean, he looks like he's about my age. His hair is gray. He he might be prematurely gray. Well, I'll look into the issue with your agent before. Let's see if we can try to solve your problem today. Chuck, you didn't empathize. You didn't empathize with this man. The, the, your reps that work underneath you have been rude to you, rude to this customer. You didn't say, I'm so sorry you feel that way. I, I'm sorry you've been treated this way. You know, we're, I had to fail the CEO on this call. Like, like Adriana's looking at him, look, look, looking at him, going, I could do your job. Look at this girl. She's like, you're a schmuck. I can do your job. Look at the look on her face. You're a schmuck. You got a nice press shirt and fancy glasses. Okay, so are you, are you trying to find your card? Is that why you're calling us this morning? Yes, and that's not on the reason. So he announces he's president, so automatically that dif disarms this guy, diffuses his anger. Because most people... Are, are, I guess, I, I wouldn't believe it if somebody told me they were the president, because what if she said the same thing? What if Chuck walks out of the building and she goes, hi, this is Adriana, I'm the president and CEO of Checksmart, or whatever this is called. What is this called? Net net spend, sorry, net spend, or Skylight, or whatever he called it. Yeah, well, I'm calling. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with the balance on my card. Okay. I, I can't quite understand you. I look at this guy. Th this Chuck, the CEO, has no idea where to look. He has no idea what the systems do. This is probably why he's no longer president and CEO of this company. You guys, operator, she's talking too fast, and I don't understand where she's saying that my last transaction. Yeah, you, you've got to mirror the customer. If you talk real fast, there's a lot of people here on YouTube that are fast talkers. You're like, today I'm talking about the Black Magic Pocket Center camera. It's a great camera. It's 4K. It does everything I can. It can't fit in your pocket, but <laughs> they talk like that. Oh, some of the guys you get and the gals you get in the call centers, they talk like they're all hopped up on Coke. Or math or something. Was made at. Okay. So I also wanted to know what was, what was going on. Do you want me to take over, Chuck, since you're dumb as a box of rocks? That's what Adriana just said. She goes, I don't know with that as well. Okay, well, um, let's see if we can sort that out for you. I think, Adriana, can you help walk him through the transactions? Absolutely. Good morning. My name is Adriana. Um, first off, let's. Oh, Adriana. Oh, Adriana. Mm. Let's go ahead and review your transactions. Ten minutes later, Chuck. Chuck, your talk time is way too high, buddy. Oh, you, I'm going to have to walk you out the door in this one. Okay, well, ten, they do. That's not me. That's them doing the whole. Blah, 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 blah. I I completely agree with you, and and again, that's why um, I come and listen to phone calls. So we will. I will personally review your call history and we keep track of who takes calls and how those go and so we will i will personally make sure we address uh the concern you're raising um your your satisfaction is important to us again that's why we go to these links to to listen firsthand the kind of experience our customers are having okay all right well thanks for being a customer hopefully that card will arrive in the next day or two Hopefully, you can't say stuff like that to a customer, Chuck. Hopefully, that makes the customer go, well, is it going to arrive in a couple of days or not? Are you telling me it's not going to arrive? You, oh, my God, you can't talk like that. You can't say hopefully. You have to say your card will be there, and we expect your card to be there. You have to be positive, optimistic. Make them make them believe that their card is going to be there, Chuck. You failed that call, and you're the CEO of a major company. After the calls, let's see what happens here. Uh, well, I know it's, uh, 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 uh well. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it sounded like one of these guys. Uh. <laughs> How did you think of the calls? How... 
Uh, well, uh, I know it's it's. Um, um it's, you might as well just watch this guy. Simple calls take a lot of work to answer, I guess, oh. would be, I was watching you clicking around all the different screens to get to the, put the pieces together. So your head, your brain has to kind of, so your mouth works, your brain works, and your hands have to work kind of all independently. Oh, this guy's, this guy's a genius. Your brain works and your hands work, you got to put it all together. <laughs> what? <laughs> and look up here. These are studio lights. They're real cheap ones, like the ones I have up here so you'll see a guy come out here in a second grab them and pull them into the other room because they're not supposed to be in the shot and they forgot you gotta keep your eyes and your hands together you gotta be coordinated now to be in a, in a call center uh so that was interesting to watch that was interesting to watch tight shot of, of chuck here the second person very hard call and then listen he asked are all your calls like that is that pretty typical? Do you get a lot of those? I take escalator calls, so I'm oh. used to it. Oh, this poor girl. Escalator calls. Oh. I'll pray for you, honey. All day. Um, he was actually a lot calm. That was Whereas, calm? Yes. Oh, my <laughs> God. That was calm. Oh, yeah, that's calm, hon. Dude, <laughs> you should hear these people, especially the low-income people that are on welfare and can't get into a bank account because they just got out of prison. These are some tough characters we talked to on the phones. Um, yes, oh, it wow. was, actually. We have... Um... He was not quite foaming at the mouth, but, <laughs> but almost. What's your advice for me? Your, uh, my advice... For... My advice for you is to get a job like this. Would you like fries with that? 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 Hi, can I help you? Yes, I'd like a ham and cheese womblet or lamb fries. I'm sorry. We stopped serving breakfast, but we are on the lunch menu now. <laughs> For you, would be... I have to put you on the spot. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wouldn't it be funny if she puked in his lap? <laughs> this poor guy, he's not the CEO of anything right now. I looked at his record. He's, I don't know what he does, but I, I just don't think he was meant to be a CEO any more than I am, honestly. But what do I know? No, I actually think you're doing an amazing job being oh. here listening to what we deal with. You're doing it because you want a promotion really bad, I'm sure. Every single day. Just, um, I think that's really good on your part. Wow, well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you. I'm glad somebody finally gave me a compliment. I know I suck as a CEO. Maybe, <laughs> maybe I need... Do you like fries with that? <laughs> appreciate what you do. I don't know how you do it. I'm just glad you. No, you don't know. You don't even know how you do what you do. I doubt if the CEO has a yacht in the ocean in the Caribbean somewhere. I doubt it. You do. So keep it up. Thank you. And they walk him out, give him a good stiff handshake. There you go, boy. There you go. See you later. So there you have it. There's um, there's Chuck Harris. And the net spend nightlight call center, or whatever he called it, I don't know. I already commented on this video. I commented on it today, and I commented on it a couple years ago. Thank you, Big Dog three three three, for recommending it. It gave me a good laugh. I hope you all liked it. But most of these guys at the top have no clue, absolutely no clue, what the systems are, how they work, where to look at them. What operating systems they run off of, they don't know how to. They don't know what the products are, how the products work, because they're they're doing other things way up here in the stratosphere, so far, far removed from all of us in the call center floor that it's sad. And they, I think that they should know. I think these men and women who are at the top should have a really good idea of the whole structure, because when they bring us into a call center, if we've never worked for Net. I can never, never, never remember the name of this company. Net, net cards, net spend, net spend. You walk in, and if you have a bunch of different products, you've got to learn the whole product 
catalog and know how to talk about it intelligently, know all the systems, and, and be polite and be friendly and knowledgeable and build the customer's confidence up. You have to have know all that, but these guys at the top have no clue what we do, but they ask us to know everything. Yet we're paid 14 bucks an hour, and they're making $1.2 million, and they don't know anything other than about how to handshake and go out for cocktail parties and you know, have yachts and, and leather mistresses on the side. So there you have it. That's Chuck Harris visits the call center at NetSpend. You know, if any of you have any other ideas, uh, put, put them my way and I'll comment on them because uh, I think this is fun and I think people are enjoying it. So I'm signing off. PT Pop, give me the thumbs up. Subscribe if you want. Have a good day. Bye.